right, today I'm reviewing the Sephora Pro Palette Neon. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is a new palette from the Sephora Pros, and uh, the color is neon for this set. That's kind of their theme. And uh, this is the full size. And it sells for $20, which is a pretty decent deal. Some people think that's too expensive, but if you're shopping at Sephora regularly, you know uh, $20 isn't ridiculously expensive for a palette at Sephora. But they have created this fun neon palette, so if you're looking for some fun, bright neon colors, this is a nice option. Uh, I'm wearing the, the white, which I guess they call porcelain, the pink and the purple on my eyes today. And it was pretty easy to blend, and they were pretty fun to make some fun looks with it. With a few slight issues I've noticed, and uh, let me give you some swatches here, and then I'll discuss some of the shades a little bit further. So these are definitely some beautiful shades. They're pretty pigmented. The white, I guess they call that the porcelain, you're not going to want to use that as like an actual eyeshadow. You're probably going to have more luck using it just as a base before you apply the other shadows. So just keep that in mind because you can't see much on the swatch, but it's better to use as sort of a base or a primer almost. And the purple is absolutely beautiful, very pigmented. The pink is also beautiful, but I notice a lot more fallout with the pink color than the other ones. They're pretty creamy, but there is a little bit of fallout with some of them. So keep that in mind. There's almost a little bit of a powder dust with some of them. So you might have some issues with that. I'm not sure. It just depends. But if you use it uh, with a damp brush, you won't have much of that problem at all. So that's another thing to keep in mind that with a lot of eyeshadows out there, you can always dampen your brush with water or using some type of uh, like MAC makes like a mist primer that you can kind of dampen your brush with. So keep that in mind with some of the shadows that you have issues with some of the fallout for. That's usually a good uh, way to prevent that. But some eyeshadows will kind of glaze over on the surface where you've used it with a damp brush. So if you're going to do that, I try and reserve like half of the shadow that I'm going to use with a dry brush. And then the other half I know I'm going to use with a damp brush just so you don't have that kind of glaze or crust over your entire eyeshadow. So that can help prevent some of that. Uh, the lime green, it looks very green when it's in the case, but once you apply it to your skin, it kind of loses a lot of its color. So if you're buying it for the green, keep that in mind. It's just not as pigmented as the rest. And uh, I guess green is kind of a lighter color. If you think about it, it's, it's definitely lighter than like the blue or the purple. So it just doesn't pack as much of a punch as other greens I've seen out there. So keep that in mind. If you're purchasing it mainly for the green, I would recommend you look at other palettes. But in terms of the other ones, the blue is amazing and the orange is also very pigmented. So the only issue is a little bit of fallout with some of the colors and the, the white is kind of almost a throwaway color. It's like they needed something else or if maybe people do use that as a base a lot. Um, I typically just use a creamy eyeshadow primer and then just start with my colors and kind of blend here and there but uh, definitely can be used as kind of a I don't know powder primer I don't know I guess that's the best way to put it but something to keep in mind between that and the lime green those are kind of they could have done something else with those but the other the other colors are just amazing the pink I love the purple they're very fun especially if you kind of uh, match this with some of the colored mascaras out there. You can make some fun looks. I know uh, uh, the YSL's got a couple eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, mascaras that are colored. So those are worth checking out. NYX has some good ones as well. So you can definitely make some fun, interesting looks with these. Uh, overall, I'm going to give this a one thumb up. Um, had there not been a little bit of issues with some of the fallout and the lime green, I definitely give it a two thumbs up, but overall it's a decent palette if you're looking for something fun, neon colors, and $20, and the packaging is pretty simple but easy if you travel a lot. 
Uh, it's pretty handy for that, and you can definitely make some fun looks with it. So, um, and twenty dollars is a decent deal in my opinion for a product from Sephora. So, um, and Sephora, their their brand, they generally do a great job with their makeup products, their skincare. They tend to include a lot of fragrance, which I'm not a fan of, but definitely for makeup, their brand is. Uh, pretty pretty good in my opinion so um, anyway I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not or if you think you'll be purchasing it uh, and what your thoughts are so leave a comment I love hearing from you and also if you know of any other good brands that make good uh, colored mascaras I, I can think of YSL they've got a couple uh, uh, mascaras in their brand that are colored and NYX but I'm sure there's more out there that I just don't know of but a while ago, I was looking for a nice purple one, and I this was a couple of years ago, and I just couldn't find any good ones uh, other than NYX. So um, anyway, if you have any good tips on that, leave a comment too. So I love hearing from you guys, uh, and if you're not already, feel free to subscribe. I come with at least one new review every day, and check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys.